nice to have you here. Hi. Nice to be here. The smallest um, room now the Young and the Restless is arguably the most mostly. iconic soap opera of all time. It's been on the air for about 43 years. So you, yes. you play Hillary Curtis. Yeah. Ignore it. Dismiss it. Winter is on Young and the Restless. How serene has it been? Winter is Hamilton. Oh, Hamilton. Yeah, Sorry. Married again. Good for you. Place. Congratulations. <laughs> How surreal has it been going from York University to Hollywood? Um, it's been the most surreal roller coaster you can ever imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, because I was in York, I was doing political science, and then I was one foot into law school, and then all of a sudden I said, you know, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to do what I always wanted to do because I almost, I, I broke my neck in a car accident a few years prior, so oh. I said, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it now, because you never know if you're going to you die tomorrow, so you've got to take advantage of every opportunity. And then, you know, fast forward a couple of years later, then I'm on YNR, which is a show that my mom watched for decades. I watched decades. it too. <laughs> yeah, so it was, I'm walking through the sets on the first day and I just, I couldn't believe that this was my life now. I still can't believe it's my life now. I look around, driving around in LA, at the palm trees, and I can't believe that this is my life. Well, we're I'm happy, so we're happy to have you on there and we love watching you. Thank and you. Continue. Now, before we saw you on Young and the Restless, you were in the remake of one of the one of my favorite movies, Total Recall. Oh yes, <laughs> um, it's a little different than the original. Mm -hmm. Totally, <laughs> you play a receptionist. Yes. What was it like to be in such an iconic um, reboot with so many amazing um, actors, Colin Farrell, Jesse Beale, etc. Well, Colin Farrell was he was a joy to work with, and he was. He really impressed me because he is so well known and he's had so much experience. And very I remember, established. yeah, he's very established. And I remember after his um, scene that we did together, after we worked, he came up to me and he's like, How was it? Did that, did that feel good? And I'm like, You're calling me. You're calling me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, It felt great for me. Of did course. it feel for you? To be acknowledged. Yeah, by but such he was. He's just such a team player and he loves working with actors and he loves you know collaborating and it was so it was just so amazing to work with somebody like that and see that even at a certain level people come down and they mm -hmm. want to you know and they recognize their work. Yeah, and they really they take their work seriously. Awesome. But yeah. Awesome. I want to congratulate you and your husband, Navid. Is it Navid? Navid. Mm -hmm. yeah. On your new edition, your son. Yes. I am. Congratulations, Niam. Yeah. Niam. He's seven months old? Yeah, he's almost seven months. Beautiful boy, beautiful boy. What was the, um, what was the experience like filming while you were expecting? I understand that they did not incorporate the pregnancy into Hillary on the other Yeah, Yeah, that's when I really felt like I became a woman. You know, like I never really understood what other people said. But that was that journey really made me see that I am not equal to a man. <laughs> you know what I mean? We are one and our own. Yeah, yes. We are different. We bring different things to the table. And I am a woman. And I'm original. Was, yes. And I was proud of that. And now I'm just. It's like the biggest love affair I've ever had in my life. So it's it's been the best ride oh, ever. Congratulations. And I don't want it to end. <laughs> you won't. A little birdie told me that you have a pivotal birthday approaching. Oh. <laughs> Which one is that? I think it's my like 25th, right? That's what you're talking about? July 30th. No, July, July 15th. 15th yeah. you 30, right? Ah, uh, sure. A woman never tells her age, but you know, well, you know something black like don't that. Crack, yeah. black. <laughs> You've been in the industry for almost a decade. Decade, sorry. Mm -hmm. Now, and had a many success. How do you feel about aging as a black woman in Hollywood? Um, I feel okay with it now. I feel like Hollywood's changed and Hollywood is ready for mature women and mature women of color. Like Viola Davis, you know, shows that completely. Like her winning that Emmy, that was mm -hmm. just, it was groundbreaking. Epic. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it really, it showed me that it doesn't matter how old you are, especially, like even in our industry, it doesn't matter how old you are. It just it matters how much you're committed to your work and committed to your journey. Definitely. And you just keep going and then everything else will catch up. Awesome. Is there pressure in the industry? Oh yes, there's a lot of pressure. How do you deal with that? Um, I just try to focus on being one with myself mm -hmm. and knowing that my journey has been a spiritual journey from the beginning. And as long as I believe in myself and I believe in everything that I'm doing, then it doesn't matter what happens. And that's really, I felt like that's when my career really took off, was when I realized I wasn't striving to do it, you know, for my family or do it for this, for money or do it for this reason. I did it because it made me happy. And I realized that 
what I do does change the world in its own way. impact. Yeah, it does have its own impact. And once I just believe in that, I believe in myself, it doesn't matter. The pressure that everybody else places mm -hmm. on you, it, it becomes displaced when they do it. I believe that when you're doing something that you love, you know, versus something that you don't love, you tend to find yourself more stressed. Yes. At the end of the day, everybody wants to be happy, right? Mm -hmm. And it's even better when you're doing something But I you love, love the quote where they say, happiness is loving what you have, not, you know. Not like, having what you love. Yes, not having what you want, but mm -hmm. loving what you have. And then you're truly happy. So you need to just be happy with everything that you're given. And then everything else just yes. falls into place. And then you would place. appreciate everything else that comes exactly. after that. Yeah. Awesome. Is there a longer shelf life for female minority actors on the soap opera as opposed to in films? Um, I think, I, like I said, I think the industry is changing and I think it's ready for, for you know, mature women and mature women of color and minorities to, you know, make a difference. It's definitely up to us. We have to make these changes and we have to push for them. But I don't think, I, don't, I think the shelf life is different now. I think that the industry is in a place where we're starting to figure it out a little bit more, you know? And I feel like because the film industry over the past couple of years with unfortunately you know, the piracy situation yeah. and everybody you know, stealing content, it's definitely seen its challenges. And I think because of that, it's shaken it up a little bit. And I think that that will be a good thing. So I'm not too worried about the shelf life, but, um, but you know, I guess we'll see, but I, believe that I don't put that into my into my mind, you know, I just keep going for it. Awesome. We have to be the change that we're looking for, right? Yep. Well, once again, I want to thank you so much. Thank it was nice you. Very nice. And I look forward to talking to the rest of the night. Yes.